Yo, what's good guys? It's a uh... Yo, what's good guys? It's Beach. I'm gonna be queuing uh, twos Basically, I'm gonna go over this really really fast. I've messed this up intro. I don't I don't care anymore um, Basically, I want to record three videos a week um, And I've wanted to always record at least one. It's very tough to record videos and edit them well while Also trying to climb to the top rank in a game so with that said i'm just going to be posting not so much meme based videos but just educational content for you guys um plus that's kind of more of the direction i want to take this channel um instead of what a lot of content creators to do i'm not naming names but you kind of see it everywhere when you look up how to get better at a game what's the first thing you guys see you see flip resets you see how to aim better in other games how to uh you know how to mechanically get better that's not part of the game that's just muscle memory you'll get that yes there's tips and tricks but that's that's something you'll just learn passively with muscle memory um or you'll get the situational aware uh or uh, i'm sorry the uh si the occasional vod review which teaches you to be situationally kind of aware right like if you're putting this search in cer a certain situation play it this way which also does it help eh, yeah it can help that specific player could it help you yeah but it's situationals you know like it's these different situations you're gonna be seeing sometimes here and there and like well you see it multiple time games yeah sure but it doesn't teach you the core fundamentals of the game what i want to teach is fundamentals of the game today we're gonna go over defense nobody fucking plays defense up to gc3 right we're in gc1 right now we're barely not gc2 i've had some really bad games lately uh based on basically this core fundamental uh defense nobody knows how to play it what is the first man good for first man is there to make the second man jobs easier and also to make it hard for them on ball, right? As first man on defense. So don't throw yourself at the ball. What's second man's job? Second man's job is to create time for your first man to then become second man. Super, super simple concept, right? Obviously that's kind of, it dumbed down, but that's what fundamentals are. It's just the core simplicity, easy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's just the core part of the game. That's what fundamentals is. And that's all defense is that, that's as simple as it is nobody does that so what we're gonna go over is we're gonna kind of break it down in situations i usually play horribly when i'm recording but yeah so we're gonna go over defense break it down watch people's mistakes on defense and then fix ours right um like i said this whole channel is about me getting the top rank in every game we've hit gc3 we've been playing the game for 13 months so we've climbed pretty quickly if you guys have questions please ask me i don't even mind joining up on a discord call if you have questions while I'm off stream and we can go over the game to understand your kind of game and how it works So with that said, we're just gonna go straight into it Um, yeah Like I said, a lot of people don't understand the fundamentals of games That's that's, that's what that's what I want to teach is I want to teach fundamentals That's how you get good at a game quickly It's by understanding the core principles of the game and then applying everything else on top of that And in Rocket League, you'll be shocked out of these three games you're gonna watch Nobody plays defense Nobody understands like the concept of like when you throw yourself out of the play say this there's this ball and you jump for it And it's a bad challenge That your teammates gonna now be in a 2v1 and you guys are most likely gonna get scored on And with this community, it's really tough to uh, Play fundamentally because not many people do So let's play three games. We're gonna get out of here Like I said, we're really highlighting defense today that's what I'm going to be talking about. Next video, we'll talk about offense fundamentally. Obviously, it doesn't mean we're not going to be playing offense. We're just going to be highlighting defense as a thing. So what happens here? What just happened? He dove as first man. Did he make the, did he make his second man's job easier? No, not at all. Not in the slightest. Okay. That's the perfect example. Is he didn't make his second man job easier? And you could say, well, Whitey, you know, maybe he had to dive. No, he didn't. He could have easily turned around. That's a bad shot. Perfect. I wanted to shoot that, but I got a really bad takeoff. Again, they're not making each other's jobs easier. They're scrambling. And obviously, these are two kickoff goals, but nonetheless, it's still possible to, you know, not give up kickoff goals. See, look, I give a bump. Did I get a lucky bump? Maybe. My teammate did an incredible job, and I kind of just bumped the first man. Good defense. He's shutting down a counterattack. Well played. I'm gonna not. That was, yeah, I was gonna say that was a bad idea. What do I do there? I make his job easier. 
That's a bad shot. I'm still first man, so I'm gonna make his job easier. How do I make his job easier? I got a bump. Good. Now we're on offense. Bad challenge. Does he make his teammates' job easier? Yes. Good job. We're just gonna let teammate do his thing. He wants to cook. Let's let him. I'm second man right now. I'm buying time, so he's now second man. He buys time now for me, so I'm second man. Cool. We made each other's jobs very, very easy. And he whiffed. That's a mechanical mistake. He was doing the right thing. Arguably not. He could have caught the ball because he had a lot of space, but... I'm really confused why he pre-jumped off the backboard from that far away, but that's okay. Teammates got to buy me a little bit of time. Fake challenge. Teammate should have a free shot. Butter saucer wasn't making it that easy for his teammate, even though he's first man. What do we do? We just wait. They make a mistake. Easy. He's going to come from behind, so I'm going to get out of the way. Teammate can go for free now. I'm first man. Naturally, second man. We're on defense right now, right? We're not attacking yet. Could I have gone? Sure. Should I have gone? I guess so. Right. That would, I guess that would have been the right play. I wasn't ready to attack, and my teammate was obviously not ready either. They get another goal. Bummer. That's a kickoff goal. Not much you can do about it. Obviously, my teammate wasn't ready to attack. I wasn't ready to attack, right? Neither of us are ready to attack, so why are you not defending my weak? Why are you going out of the way? Go for that boost when you have downtime. That was not your downtime. But then again, it's my fault. Like I said, not a great touch, not a great play. So they're starting to play better defense, which we need to start doing now. I'm going to go first. Why make it easier for him? Does he make it easier for his teammate? If my teammate went for the demo, no. Wrong play from my teammate. I'm going to play back. Teammate makes it a bit easier for me. I was hoping that would go more up the wall. That's a whiff. I don't know how I didn't demo him. Fair enough, then. I'll try to make it easier for my teammate as first. I'm going to go here, make it easier. He gives me a challenge. He made it easier for me. He just dives. I didn't think he would because his teammate was on top of me. Pass it. I'm going to the open that. Maybe that wasn't open, but it was an easier shot. And then, I, uh, and then he made it. What do we do? We make that incredibly easy by pre-jumping. He's second man. What's his job? It's to buy time for his teammate to get back. He did not need to go there. Was it a bad touch? Sure. Was my teammate going to score if he didn't make that touch? No. There was no shot threat from that. From hitting it. I'll fake challenge and go back. Why? Because if they shoot, I'm back. Easy. My teammate was up. Feeling? I went for the dunk. A little bit greedy, but I'll be back. Fake challenge. See the jumps. I'm here. Get a skim touch to the other side, right? Why do I push it that way? Because it's difficult for them to go. I just went. Wasted a lot of boost. Maybe not wasted, but I used a lot of boost. And my teammate's not really in the positions to help me here. I have to give him ball if I want boost, and I wanted the boost pretty badly. I go here, because I know I can beat. Simple, right? I give him the ball and say, attack me. Why? Because I have my teammate behind me, and I'm, st I I'm stuck on the backboard. So he has to attack two people. Cool. So I force his hand, and I say, hey, overcommit. I basically bait him to say, hey, are you going to overcommit here? And I, I tell him to... Because I have two people back. I have my teammate in my net. Or he should have been in the net. Maybe if he cheated up, he wasn't there. He should be in the net if we're playing defense correctly. And he was. And I was backward. Make it easy, right? I volley. Other team was almost never back, right? Overcommitting nonstop. And that's the first part of defense is not overcommitting. Making sure you can be back. Again, we want to make it easy for our second man. What do I do there? 
I make it easy for them by just taking multiple challenges. We're not on offense there until I make it on offense and I challenge a second man. We'll talk about offense next video. Very simple though. I'm gonna go all the way back on defense. Why? Because if he shoots, I'm here. Do I need to jump? No. Why? Because my teammate is. Did he fake them? Yes. Again, they're not playing defense here. I had a horrible play. He maybe had to do that. He positions so closely to front post where he doesn't need to. <laughs> He positions so closely to front post instead of actually covering his teammates weak that he just has to panic challenge as well. I hear my teammate behind me, so I force him low, okay? This is fine. Why? Because they're not on our net, and I can go here. Forcing them low is good because it gives your teammate a readable ball. Wow, that's actually a really good shot. I'm back. What's my job? Buy time. How do I do that? Pre-jump his shit. See? Easy. I pre-jumped mostly because the fucking guy was going to move for a demo. Watch out for space. He overcommits a bit, but good thing we're fundamentally defensive. I'm back. I go backward. Why? Because he's trying to demo me. Also, I'm second man, so backwards easier. That's my bad for cheating up. And I'm here to cover his weak. But that's a very fast, good play. That's my bad. Should have been a save. If I moved a little bit quicker to back to net, that would have been good. And I also break checked before I jumped. See, that break checking there is a situational awareness thing. Like, if I watched a VOD, you could say, oh, you break checked, right? Not every player does that. I break check when I'm in a bad spot. So, what goes on here? He should not go for mid. It's just facts. He should not go in. He should go grab pads and go back. What do I do here? I don't go for any big boosts. I cover his weak. And then I start pushing up middle for a counter attack. I have 72, but I don't have a ball because it's not necessarily middle. I'm going to go here. Why? To force a bad touch. Fake. Why is this so good? They don't force each other. They're just diving. They're still on defense there. Why are they not on offense yet? Because they're not past half. We got one more game. They're on defense there. You could say, well, why weren't they on defense before? Remember that first goal that we had? That was just kind of really harassing them. We were on defense because they had possession. There, they did not have possession. He was kind of clearing it. He was kind of in an awkward spot, right? If they hit the ball there, they're not on offense. However, if they start carrying the ball at our half, they would be on offense. And that first play, they were carrying it. Versus the second play, they were just clearing it. It was supposed to be a carry, but he accidentally cleared it, right? So I could get a good challenge. Nice shot by our teammate. Good recognition on the kickoffs. Can't do much about that for them. Right? Sometimes you have to give space. Why? So you can grab resource. What's your resource boost? Does that make it easier for my second man? No, because he doesn't want to go. Is this... Sure, now we're on offense, though. Very impressive save, to be honest. I'm here to buy time. Did I do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> very, very impressive play from that guy, to say the least. I was a good 50 by him, too. My bad. But no, very good save by them. I played the defense correctly until I took that challenge. Does he make that easy for me? Not necessarily. I slow their attack down by putting it all the way up into the ceiling crease. Again, what do I do? I clear the ball to buy myself time. Kills so my teammate time. I thought he could 50. I would have jumped if I uh, thought he wouldn't. I think he was boosting behind the ball is why I didn't go. No, he's not. He was. He stopped boosting. That's my bad. I got both. 
think we can go. If we win this game, we're GC2, but we're down one, so we'll see. I cover his weak, even though he gets a good challenge, right? Odds are, if he gets that good of a challenge, he's going to score on himself. Or he'll need me to follow him up. And you can be like, oh, you're not doing much, but I'm covering his weak. The two goals that they have, I wasn't covering his weak for one, and then the, the second I didn't buy him enough time, I took a bad 50. Covering his weak. Not perfect placement. Sometimes you just need perfect. So watch. I cover his weak by going back slightly when he goes. Watch. What does his teammate do? Do you think his teammate's covering his weak right now? No, not at all. His teammate went out for boost, realized he made a predetermined decision on that, hoping his teammate just got a clear so he could go boost. Wasn't ready to help right away. I'm not gonna, I'm not too sure who got, got that, so I'm just gonna come back. I think my teammate got it. <laughs> I think he got it for sure. Here's the thing, it's a 50-50. I go back, because I wasn't sure. He went up, that's the difference. If they attacked us, I would have been back. If we attack them, they're not back. I'm back. What am I what am I doing here? Getting a horrible challenge. I'm not playing well, but he's my teammate's playing incredible defense. Let's highlight his defense here. What does he do well? He forces a shot out of them, which I wasn't back for. He also then saves that shot and then forces them to pass it again. That's all my fault. Obviously, that's an easy one to pick apart. But we're going to slow play this and chip it over his head. Or not. Teammates ready to chow. He doesn't get a great chow. It doesn't make it easier for me, so they get a goal. Same concept. You dive as first man, you don't make it easier for your teammate. This is a stupid challenge. They obviously have control of the wall. They obviously see you coming. They have full control over the situation. You should not be diving. I turn back. Why? Cover's weak. Which is wasting the ball. I go up here to buy him time. Fifth team corner. Teammate gets 100 boost and ball. I shoot. Thought I could get a buy. I have no boost. I'm being. I'm dead again. It's another goal. Never mind. Get safe. I force him to jump awkwardly. I'm here. Covering my teammates weak, which was the shot. He's just going to boom it, sweep the floor, right? Meaning if they, you think they're going to chip it over your head and, and dodge into it, just cover what you think they're going to dodge. I'll fake like I'm going to stay ground and then go backward. Nice and easy save. He makes it incredibly easy by going into the backward. I'm dead again. I need to start avoiding demos or we're going to lose. Nice save by us. A bit awkward. We'll just challenge. I don't want to go for that. Because it's a crease bounce. It's an awkward one. We head straight back here. Because we figured he's just going to kind of clear it. And he didn't want to play defense. I didn't hit get that in the middle well enough there. Teammate could have gone for their boost. I think he recognized it a bit late though. Why am I here? Because it's time to play defense. What am I doing? Forcing an easy touch for my teammate. Or make him first man and then I get an easy touch and rinse and repeat what's his job make an easy touch for me was that an easy 50 yes they dodged out of my demo path that I thought he was gonna go I thought he's gonna backflip see how quick that cycle was that first man tried to make it easy for me them diving made it easy for the guy on the backboard that's how quickly it can cycle between positions I didn't expect him to dive a second. That's on me. Again, make it really easy, right? He can just dive across the net. I don't want to get demoed. I had to go in because I was going to get demoed if I stayed out. What's his job? Make it easy for me. I'm going to fake this and just go slow. Why? Because their teammate's not going to be there for the pass. That's going to go up the crease a bit so I can shoot. <laughs> right. Does he need to dive that? Not at all. Is this a hard shot to save if you go straight to your net? Not at all. I, I could put a silver player in that and they would save that. Right, you just need to play fundamentally saying, hey, you know what? He still has control of the ball. I'm gonna let him play it. I could have fought for that mid boost. Why don't I? 
That's why. It's a 50-50. There's a 50% chance this happens to us. Except my teammate just completely dusted him. We can't see that necessarily from over there. Unless he's saying in my comms, I have ball, I have ball. But I don't, I don't hear that. What do I do? I cover here. Why? Because my teammate's going to be back. Because he's dead. Is this an easy ball for my teammate? Maybe it's a tough first touch. Does he play it well, though? Incredibly. Put it behind him. Oh, nice save. I'm first, man. Fake challenge. I cover middle after I touch it, so they can't shoot it right away. That's my fault. I wasn't back. I shouldn't have boosted that much. I should have. I should. I shouldn't have boosted, and I should have gone straight back because I wasn't back for this play. Push him into it because I saw they were still covering the ball. Again, he has a decent play. I'm gonna fake this Y so they jump into it. Does he have good control? No, fake again. Why? Fake one more time. Whole time there. What am I doing? I'm faking. I'm faking. I'm faking. So I'm always covering. And why did we get scored on the game? Well, the multiple goals before because I wasn't covering, right? This was a horrible example of a game because they had five goals. They should not have five goals if I'm playing defense correctly. Even if my teammates are not playing it right, they should not have five goals. And unfortunately, my teammate was playing incredibly good defense. My teammate was also playing really good offense. But with that said, was his offense that difficult? A lot of them were just 50-50 balls where he had to win the race to the ball on the other person. And his teammate was saying, yeah, my teammate's going to win. But I'm saying my teammate's going to lose. So if he lost that, they wouldn't be getting goals. However, if I was playing like the opponent, like the opponent was doing, it was giving my teammate countless goals. Why? Because they're not ready defensively. They're not covering their teammate's weak side. Right? Do you see what I'm saying? Fortunately, my teammate won most of the challenges, so it's just a pretty easy win. But if my teammate doesn't, I'm always back. And you're going to get goals off of mistakes. Okay? And there shouldn't be that many mistakes. They had a lot of mistakes. We even missed a few shots. Anyway, three really good games back into GC2. It's early season, and I think SSL is barely top 500, or top 100. Sorry, top 500 from RL. Third from Overwatch. Yeah, SSL is uh, 1875, so let's take top 100 is like barely. I'd say 200 players are. Can't be upset. Good game. I'm going to get off right now. Um, if you have questions, please, please, please let me know. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much. It helps the viewer retention a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Like I said, we're going to be highlighting fundamentals. Make good players off fundamentals. You guys will climb so quickly with this. It's not going to be your... I'm not going to sit here and teach you how to flip reset. That is skills development. If you want me to do that, I can show you guys some of that. But I don't think that's important right now. I think fundamentals are so crucial in this game. In every game. A lot of games don't follow fundamentals. I'll be back soon. Peace.